Go take care of that squig. Where are you, you squig? <laughs> Up bastard. here somewhere. He's a squiggy bastard. Oh, hey, we survived the squig. Yay! Yay. Um, what is? is Marines. Was he just firing off the bridge to the right, hoping that it would randomly ricochet and hit you? Maybe. Oh, okay. he's an orc. He probably believed it would. Uh, but yeah, so there's the the 40k universe is so. Awful? Well, it's awful, but I'm, I'm more talking about how they handle their fiction and their lore for it, in that... Badly? <laughs> well, kind of, but at the same time, it's it's rather ingenious the way they've set up the mechanism to allow themselves to do that. Um, since everything in the game is written from the Imperium's perspective, um, <laughs> it is... <laughs> necessarily written from an unreliable narrator, a narrator's point of view. Which they even put in mechanisms where they're describing they describe the department that actually does this writing as it's essentially the the Ministry of History from 1984 where, you know, it's like no, we've always been at war with Eurasia. What are you talking about? Um... <laughs> Or, no, we've never been at war with them. What are you talking about? They've always been our ally. Wow. And that is straight up written into 40K's lore, that this is the thing that produces everything that you learn about their game as far as it's, or their game world as far as it's written. Hell, so even all of the fluff in the codices for the stuff is all written from the Imperium's perspective. If you play Tau, Eldar, or uh, Tyranids, or Necrons, or anything that's not Imperium... Everything is written from Imperial perspective. Yeah, keep keep playing. Uh, <laughs> I, I needed to gesture. You, you could have just you gesture with the while controller. Gesture with Titus, okay? Yeah, make make him wave his sword around and tell us what's up. So the reason. <laughs> so the re so the the reason they can get away with changing everything all the time is that they're like, oh yeah, no, what we what we wrote before was because a corrupt administrator told his people to write things such and such way. That's wrong. We're going to issue a correction. So what you're saying is... Is there a squig factory up there? They just keep coming. No, I think there's like six or seven squigs in this area. It's like a reverse bacon plant. <laughs> reverse bacon they plant. They turn bacon into squigs? Which is a crime unto itself. That's emperor true. or no emperor. Jeez. Yeah. I think the Eldar would get pissed off at that. They probably would. They probably are already and they don't know why. Yeah. But yeah, so what you're saying is the Warhammer 40k universe sucks as bad as it does because all the humans are depressed assholes. Basically. Got it. Stop this ram. Hmm? Time to impact. I mean, not to more than six minutes. Ran on, rain on people who are depressed. That That's, you know, get professional help. But if you're an asshole about it, then stop that. And then get professional help. Yeah, don't be an asshole. Yeah. That, that's that's the real message. Don't be an asshole. Yep. It's, it's, spoiler alert, TLDR, the Bible. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, yes. Well, no, because there are actual editorial differences between them. Go. Oh, um, don't be an asshole. King James says don't be an asshole, and also King James is really neat. Uh, <laughs> don't be an asshole, Stop but maybe cheating on your wife is okay for one of the wicked Bibles. Uh, don't be an asshole, and other sins are actually commandments or something like that for more different wicked Bibles. Uh, thou dost not be on the asshole. Don't not unbe and different <laughs> not asshole not. This thing. place where it tells you it's okay to be an asshole is actually contradicted by this other place that tells you don't be an asshole, which is, you know, backed up by don't be an asshole. Yes, um, exactly. Hello, odd boy. So if you're if you're thinking about being an asshole, uh, don't. Yes. And um, God says, don't be an asshole. Oh, God. Uh, Meanwhile, there's death and murder happening all over the place. Did you uh, really uh, into that hard boy? No, actually, I did. That was... I force fed him my chainsaw. No, I think that's a sin. Oh, <laughs> no. no see, Pat, if he were human, it would be a sin. But he's Zeno, yeah. so no one cares. Yeah, Pat, it, it's, it's, Dude, it's, racist. Yes. Speciest. Um, 
<laughs> it, see, Pat, the Emperor tells us it's okay to feed Xenos bastards and Xenos scum chainswords. Do not feed your fellow human chainswords. Unless they're a heretic, then it's okay. Oh, and also, what if the chainswords are made of delicious cake? Then it's not really a chainsword. Then it's a cake sword. Yeah, that that this, you know. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. <laughs> I want a cake sword. Well, you know what you can have for your next question. <laughs> <birthday. laughs> um. I, I need you to bake me a cake sword. Get out, please. You no, know it's great. I, it needs to say uh, Ulfbert along the blade. This, I'm calling you, please. Can, can, you, can you get it to say for, for the Ulfbert? Uh. And here come the straight jackets. <laughs> but the man emperor of mankind has commanded me to eat this cake sword. Did you just stomp a cloud of dust? Uh, he he did a combo stun. Stomp! Oh, okay. Yep. It looks like you did an execution, but the guy was all long dead well before you actually got through it. <laughs> you <laughs> survived due to your murderous rampage. Just cutting someone in half, and then all of a sudden you just go deaf. Something's floating. I hate it when that happens. Care. Yeah. When you get overexcited with death, to the point where you go deaf. Yeah. This was a, uh, a death-induced deafness. Yes. Some would Say call it a, uh, a, de a death of set. Um, mm, uh, maybe reaching a little bit there. I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, too close. You can't grab it. Uh, Nathan Drake, you're reaching too close. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> we don't have that, that clip of that, that particular situation no. on video anywhere, do we? We no. never had it on video. Did you cut him almost all the way in half from the groin first? <laughs> yes, and maybe. Kicked him and then I kicked his head until it exploded. His, oh. his spine was going to jam the blade. We can't have that. No, exactly. you can't. How the hell do you clean that weapon? Yay, plasma cannon! Oh, you can charge the- you can charge up your shot. So, like, hold down the fire button. No, it didn't actually do anything. I or, tried or is it the ult fire? You gotta vent the heat manually, though. You can also rip the thing off of the- off No, the I button. can't. It's not giving me the option to- Oh, it might be- it. you might want to take cover, though. You are kind of getting bla blasted. Is the or dead. You, dead it's dead good. happens. You lost the Emperor's wallet. You did. How dare you? I well, no, you know, it's more of the Emperor's time. coin purse. <laughs> Emperor doesn't trust him enough with the you wallet. You think there's enough of me to fit in the purse? Whoa, I like whoa, whoa. the Emperor's pocket change. Let's not talk so brazenly about the Emperor's coin purse, okay? Let's. Oh, let's, that's true. That's straying a bit the too far to heresy. That, that is, I'm sorry. But why do every time I see the... Uh, a picture of the Emperor, I feel the urge to drop to my knees, bend over, and, and, praise, him, and praise him fanatically. Check uh, me, bitch! bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that is a, a, a difficult position to argue from. You're right, because I'm so busy praising the Emperor with my forehead pressed to the ground. Mm. Uncomfortable. Oh, I can turn it. It's just square. And that's where I can charge it. Yep. So now you can move around and actually have, uh, you know, cover. Yay, cover. Now keep in mind, you do continue to build up heat while making charge shots with this thing, so. That's, that's the heat alarm. That's, that's what we're going with. Yes, heat alarm. Uh-huh. We totally didn't forget to, uh, you know. Silence the, the thing. The thing that does Many stuff. times by now. Shh. Not my fault. No, but um, 40k book. If you don't want to play the tabletop game, read the fiction. The fiction is good. A lot of it is available on their website for free, like little snippets and such. You were shooting me. Where, where the hell even are you? There. There you are. Um, a lot of it is available for free on their website as you know, free short stories and stuff like that. But the uh, the novels and the omnibuses are probably some of the. The, their best works. They're dropping orcs. Uh, oh, hey, you hit it once. It's hit it a couple times now. But, um, yeah, I... The one that I've read through and enjoyed the most as Patrick dies of water mm. um, in Heresy um, is the, the Grey Knight 
omnibus. Yeah, I've heard about the Grey Knights, and I've heard people just, and by people I mean that one guy I roomed with in college, who yep. really liked the Grey Knights. Just man, went, man, Grey Knights are fucking awesome. You should play Grey Knights, and I'm like, I don't, but that I don't have time. Money. I'm too busy being not good at studenting and not broke. Well, yeah, yeah, because um, 40k is expensive. Um, yes, but it is. Asking anybody else, like on the internet, apparently the Grey Knights are like reviled, and I don't know why. It's because for a couple editions they were just so supremely unbalanced that playing them meant that you were, you know, a cheaty McCheaty pants. Another issue with Grey Knights is canonically they're giant dickholes. That's true. Because uh, even for Imperial standards, they're giant dickholes because people aren't allowed to know that they exist. Which means if you if saw they, them, you if will they show get up shot. on your if they show up on your planet to help uh, put off a Xenos invasion of some kind, you, you're probably gonna die. Well, because either soon that or get mind wiped. Soon your planet will not be. <laughs> that does seem a bit extreme. Yeah, but it, it's to the point where they have, at, on a couple occasions, enlisted the assistance of other chapters. And then murdered the chapter that helped them. Yeah, they tried <laughs> to do that against the Space Wolves, and the Space Wolves, <laughs> and the space wolves the, said no, bitch. The Space Wolves said, uh, you wanna, you wanna go, bro? Do you even lift? Would you like to try again? Yeah. Uh, to How did you miss that? Because it's a slow-moving projectile. Yeah. To which, you know, the, the Grey Knight said, what, what is lifting? <laughs> we just, you know... Tell it to be somewhere else. Exactly. And it obeys the will of the Emperor. It, yeah. But that's. Uh, but the Grey Knight novel, or the Grey Knight series of novels, focuses on one Grey Knight. Yeah. Like, apparently, Grey Knights are assholes. A Grey Knight, pretty yeah, badass. A, a Grey Knight is pretty badass, which is fine. And, and the thing is, I stopped playing about when. 4th edition was released, which was about the time that Grey Knights became their own army. Oh. Um, yeah. Because for the first couple of editions... Oh, I can manually vent. Yeah. For the first... You, did, the, you yeah. haven't been manually venting? He doesn't read the... You know, I the, knew that I could when I took it off the turret. When I took it off... The, or when it was on the turret, rather. When I took it off the turret, it didn't say that I could. I didn't realize yeah. it. Why would it change? Because Chris wasn't reading the pop-up tips that happened. Because the... Other, the heavy bolter changed when I took it off the thing. It no longer had infinite ammo. Well, this thing is ammo. This thing is a walking nuclear reactor. It's also not a bolter or a chain gun or whatever you but, want. But, um, it. in the original editions of 40K, at least for the, uh, first, second, and third edition, Grey Knights existed, but you were limited to one squad of them of up to five characters, like five models. Yeah. That was the maximum. You had to buy them before the game. Like, before the game even started, you paid the points for them out of your army cost. And then they could only show up if there was a demon on the board. But because they are an elite fighting force that exists to kill demons. There's no demons. Why are they showing up? So you would buy them and you'd pay for them. And if your opponent... Doesn't use demons. Doesn't use demons, well, too bad. I mean, there would still be a chance that they'd show up because of the way that, you know, the psychic abilities worked in those editions, where it was always possible for anyone with a psychic ability to be taken over by a demon. And, oh, look, there's suddenly a demon. But then again, you were also relying on either your psyker attracting a demon and getting possessed, or your which opponent, is which is bad, so now you lost your psyker, or your opponent, you know playing psychers and getting theirs possessed. So, I mean, it was just, it was not reliable. Just like, you know, Chris hey. is sitting there. Hey, we stopped the orc battering ram. By that feet. was a battering ram? No, no I'm on, on the, the battering, battering ram. So we oh. smashed I stopped something it by camera. crashing the orc yeah. ship into it. We battered the battering ram until hey. it went away. Oh. How are we going to stop this battering ram that's Let's meant to deliver impact? Well, we hit it harder ourselves. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly what you do. Hey, we hey, finished part two. Oh my so gosh. That, was, that would be where you'd have to All fight the, through uh, up to that on hard to get that one trophy. Absolutely not. Right. 
because clearly the emperor does not give a shit about your video game. There is a reason why that trophy has less than a point, like a point one percent clear rate. No on shit, sure. All accounts that have even a single Space Marine trophy on it. Yo. Yeah. Yikes. Yup. So we blew it up. Still holds. Hey. Some Imperial Guard units made it here after all. So some Imperial Guard people did something. Go that They made it here. <laughs> hey, there are regular people too. <laughs> they do exist. New objective, keep killing now, they, the other, yeah, It's a good, it's a good objective. <laughs> it is now, the, other, the other thing, oh, so yeah. So Pat, oh, if, if you, there's die, a servo skull, if you die before you can uh, pay your debt to the Emperor, this is what you become. Oh, come on. Trying to deliver a message must be damaged. I cannot deliver this message to a corpse. Oh, come on. Why? You're a spec marine. So what is the message, spec marine? Oh, uh, holographic technology. Master Drogon. Oh, yeah, he's not evil. <laughs> well, he's an inquisitor, of course Well, he's no, evil. I mean, just, they, they, look at the hairstyle they gave him. Once his thing comes on screen. How dare everything. you think you write he's better got, poetry uh, than me? He's got half a head of hair, and what he has is in the total emo bird BS. Yeah, he's totally not a villain. This is, well, you know what? To be fair, this is 40k, so saying he's totally not a villain still yeah. doesn't make him the villain of the game. It doesn't even. make him the antagonist. Right. Yeah, the antagonist <laughs> is everyone. The, the antagonist is orcs. For now, at For least. For now, yeah. Until it's not orcs Until anymore. Until it be... It's eventually always not orcs. I mean... Yeah. Wait, we need to go rescue Captain Emo there? Yeah, Captain Emo Pants wants our rescue. Uh. And because he's an Inquisitor, we can't refuse him. Because if you do, obviously it's because you're a heretic. Only a heretic blam. would refuse to rescue an Inquisitor. Especially if the Inquisitor is a gigantic prick. Well, the bigger the prick, the, you know, the more rescue he needs. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> We're clever. It's sure, that's a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> clever is a thing. I don't know that we are, but... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'd agree that we are that. Okay, let's not get too cocky then. Ah, oh. ah see, there, were, there was that was actually. Yeah, I, I can't believe you had the balls to pull off that joke. Well, you know. It's, uh... Boom! Get away from me, bitches! What? You, you just gotta take comedy gold as it comes. I think you're getting ahead of yourself there. Uh, I just don't want to shaft the audience out of out of the, the, the jokes they deserve. You know, but if you keep it up this rate, some of them might fall on the stroke. Well, you need to keep it up, otherwise you can't have a steady rhythm. I don't know about you guys, but it's getting kind of hard to come up with these. You know, I, I am going to go for a motion that we move on to something else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... this is some stiff competition anyway. <laughs> we're done now. We're, we're adults. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for kids. <laughs> Then again, that's pretty much how kids' shows went. It was just, let's see how much shit we can get away with. Well, because we know that there's going to be parents watching this with their kids. We might as well keep them entertained. So when Mommy laughs at a joke, little Billy can go, Mommy, what's funny? And then Mommy can go, oh, it's funny. <laughs> Dick jokes, little Jimmy. I'll tell you when you're old. <laughs> Time for Fury. I found Prince. No, 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 no. I meant fingerprints. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, I still can't believe I didn't realize that that's what that joke was. Or that it took me this long to realize that, that that's what that joke was. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, you were eight when, uh, it, yeah. when it aired, and you didn't really revisit it until the internet said, Hey, yeah, hey, the, hey, the, dick jokes. The internet has a, a, a very good knack at um, just kind of pointing out everything that I didn't notice when I was a child, and would rather not have noticed <laughs> now. So thank you, Internet. I appreciate it. You're welcome. The Internet is really, really great. For porn! I've got a fast connection. So I don't have to wait. For porn! Browse all day and night. For porn! There's always some new site. For porn! 
It's like I'm surfing at the speed of light. Farpawn! Thank you, Avenue Q. I'm an orc. I mean, what? Zug Zug. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong time to Shit! Yes. <laughs> oh no! Now the internet flame wars are converging on our video. Look out! Duck! Run, Titus! Run! Titus! You can't hold back shit posts of this magnitude! <laughs> <laughs> Who is the better orc? Uh! Okay, everyone. Believe in the power of Green Jesus. Oh, Green Jesus! Can he save us from the man emperor of mankind? Yeah! No! Oh man! Wow! Dude, he got help from that. From that, he did. <laughs> like he, he got help me wow. from executing wow. your face. Wow! He kicked my ass. Yep. I That's... just couldn't get the stun on him to murder face him. Chris, this is what grenades are for. But I was close enough that the grenade would have blown up in my face. No, that's why you grenade him and roll away. You have a dodge button. Also, you have better guns than just your weak-ass pistol. But you know what, Chris? You died. So I yep. think I have to put you in timeout for like 30 seconds or something. So. <sighs> or maybe an entire day. There is a you corner maybe, right I here. I'll stand in the corner. Stand in the corner. And, and contemplate the emperor while you think about I what you're doing. Exactly. Like I'll never die. I lose my head in the starry skies. Can't change it down. I feel